Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review Target. Guess what? It was a short today. And I, I just looked at this and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. It actually went to some huge big number into 11 o'clock, and I didn't get it down to the low of the day. The low of the day as of right now in this, which, which I don't know if holds or if it breaks it again, is 65.50. I felt that it would get to 66 today. I felt that if it got to 66, it would break hard. It's exactly what it did. But it was so late, so late and so tough for me to hold late trades. I usually like to be done in the morning, but this went went and worked, and, and, it, and it went to the number, and it went past the number, and it did it at 11 o'clock. Like five minutes into 11 o'clock, it did it. So let's go over the initial call that I made. Let's go all the way back. Base, 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 flips. Okay. Held 68, a big bar here. So I wanted to wait for the confirmation, waited for the two minute, broke. Entry was 67.10. Big stop though, over the high of the day. And here's the move into here, 25 cents from 66. And I really thought this would go immediately to 66. And then I thought if it would go to 66, it would break. And then when the, which it did, but it was later. Then when it hit here, the five minute, this looked amazing. Okay. It looked like it was going to break down here. Never followed through right in here. Of course, this is still way into the entry, but the problem is that I just didn't have the patience to hold this all the way down here until 11 o'clock. I wish that I would have. If you did the original trade with the stop over the high of the day and waited until 11, you got the whole move. It was almost two bucks. Why did it take so long to go? I was thinking about this as I was looking at it, and this may set up again today, but the thing is that the two o'clock two FOMC announcement, I think people should not be in trades, but this might, this might set up again, might set up in the 30 minute. The problem with the gap for the quick move today in this to get to the bigger number was that it was right into an area, okay, that I knew was a short, and I rated the gap, and it was a valid short to watch to do, and it still set up early, and it had the move. It just didn't go to the target till later in the morning, was that it was in an area of congestion right in here. And so because of that, and it didn't have a high rating, it took longer to get going to the target. Target took longer to get going to the target. <laughs> So that was the issue. But this by no means was a long. It absolutely was a short, which I knew. And I think a lot of traders might have looked at this as a, as a long because it gapped down here, fell hard here, gapped down here, fell hard here, sold off hard the day before and gapped down big. But it's still set up fast, still set up in the first couple of minutes of the day. But the problem was to get it to the target, it needed time. It just needed time. It was back and forth with itself. People were trying to buy it. You can see the buyers in here, but the institutional positioning is to the downside. And that is why it was a short and had the short move and, and why it broke and was right on the day and, and broke and went to the number. It just took longer because it was really, some traders were buying it, but the institutions were shorting it. Now you have this rallying in here. There's nothing to do with this though today. There's just nothing. The whole move in this in the morning is done. If you do a late trade in this, it has to be in a 15 minute or 30 minute or 60 minute chart, in which case you'd be in it till the close, even if it sets up. And because of the minutes a day or two, I don't think anyone should take a late trade unless it's in your trading plan. But it's, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Stocks act wild when they have announcements, but it was a good call. It was a good call this morning. I just was looking to, for too big of a number too quick. So this is where. Everybody has different styles of trading. If you're patient enough to wait till 11 o'clock in this, you got paid. Any questions, email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. And if you'd like more information, feel free to email me the classes this weekend, May 21st and 22nd. The target call that I made today did work and went to the number. It's just that you had to hold it. And it was a big stop. So this is not a price point that I trade on a regular basis because I do like baby stops. It was, this was a dollar stop today, but the move in the morning did work and was profitable, but the big move happened later. And that really, when I went back and reviewed it, had to do with the fact that the gap rating was there, but it just wasn't high enough. So good thing to note for everyone, including myself. Have a good day, everyone. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want more information. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.